right guys hello everyone and welcome to the title tuesday stream the regular one the regular one which we always have on tuesdays uh, today it seems to be it seems that it's going to be quite a strong event many top gms already here um and yeah i sincerely hope that after three or four horrible performances on stream I can have one decent one today. At least one out of two. And hello to Ingo and to Smart Guy. Your support, even if I hang my queen 11 times today. What if I hang it more, more than. Um, what if I hang it more than 11 times? There are two title Tuesdays, remember? Let's try to not to rage quit this time. Yeah, I mean it depends if there will be possible possible interesting games. And hello night on first place today. Well how unrealistic I would actually would actually if there was some if it was possible to bet on title Tuesday, I wonder what the quote on me winning would be. It will actually be very interesting to know that. Okay, I guess I can play a warm-up game or two. And I'm not sure if that's smart or just... I don't know, guys. If you want... What do you want me to do, guys? Just talk. Solve a puzzle, puzzle or two. Play a warm-up game. It's 50% either it happens or it doesn't. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. That's a very interesting perspective. Okay, one puzzle rush. Uh, which one? <clears throat> which one? Five minute, three minute, survival. Five minutes. Um, let's do one or two of those. Just one second. Now that the camera angle is is in the way. And hi there, Osna Chess. Welcome to the Title Tuesday stream. Okay, let's see how many of these we can solve in five minutes. Okay, if I can solve 11 per 15 seconds, that would be nice. However, they're getting harder and harder, unfortunately. Okay. Even though the past, the past few ones became easier and easier. Take it. This is mate. What do I need to do? Make a draw here. Fair enough. What? Suppose I just have to take. By the way, guys, right now in the chat, how many points, how many puzzles am I going to solve in this rush? Guys, let's not play for end games today. Today we play for tactics. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I guess just take stuff. <clears throat> not this. Let's probably check first. Okay, sometimes it gives you mate in one or two, sometimes it gives you a relatively hard puzzle. Never understand this chattered comp perspective. 
But why not to trade the queens? There's no reason not to. Thus far, they have been relatively easy. Rook e8 here, maybe? I mean, I don't see it. I think it's this. No, now it's this. Otherwise, there was rook h2 check. I mean, the planet game is probably winning. No, it wasn't. It was just to trap the rook. Again, never mind. Um, and this was the rook g6. Why didn't I spend some time thinking there? It's not three minutes, it's five minutes. Come on, focus. No, I need to take here first. Now what? I suppose here and King F1. Now I have to be a bit more careful considering I failed two puzzles already. Yeah, this is not gonna get the job done. Mm. 53, 54, come on guys, you're giving me... <laughs> You're giving me more credits than I deserve. Did you see the Weimar Dam game today? He played this interesting Shara Gambit. What do you think about this? I mean, he got an amazing position, but objectively it's not the greatest line. He's been known to do that. He played it ever since like 2020 or 2021. There are many interesting games. Uh, there, there are these Gambits. There is also the... Uh, there is also the two knights Italian, like bishop c4, knight of six, knight g5 line in one of the games. There is king's gambit in one uh, in one game in Tato still. So, quite a lot of interesting stuff happening. But, sure, there are many people commentating on Tato still. We're not doing that. We're playing Title Tuesday, hoping for, hoping for a miracle and a good result for once, which hasn't happened. In a long, long time. I'll do one more of these and then I'll do one more of these. And guys, you can guess the number again if you want. And then we will we will slowly start. The tournament is slowly going to start. What's the solution here? Rook b4. Weird puzzle. This one is not so weird. Nor this one. Double attack. Mating free. Take the rook. Why does it matter where I go? I guess not here or here. Why? There is knight d6 if I go to another square. Okay, that puzzle I genuinely don't understand. Okay, many things, there are many things which I don't understand about chess, as we have seen in the past few streams. <laughs> Where do I want to go? Here? Weird puzzle again. Why is there such a huge difference in puzzle difficulty sometimes? So you get mate in two and four years and you get an impossible puzzle on 30. 
not what's in this. Is it knight b5? I don't think so. I think it's this. No, not there, king e2. And you're not to allow the rook on that file, so wait, should be 5 Bring me forth. No, knight e5, of course it's knight e5, that's actually easy. Why am I not seeing easy pawns? Rook four. This is a theoretical endgame. That's easy. Now what? Takes an f four. Even when I'm solving normally, then the mouse is against me. And hello to Angelica, which has born. Armor Dam has a nice course on it, so I didn't know that, but I'm sure you know better, considering I have not followed the courses. Okay, two minutes, two more minutes before the start. I don't know what to expect from myself, honestly. The past four title Tuesdays have been have been extremely bad. When I say extremely bad, it's been less than eight points. So let's see. The rating is a twenty nine twenty. I mean that's supposed to be somewhere somewhere where my actual strength is. I've been as low as twenty eight twenty. I've been as high as thirty twenty. So this is some realistic rating. get focused and win 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 <laughs> win 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 would be three wins and they usually don't start to three out to three but we'll see considering it's emote only chat you will not be able to write messages you will not be able to write messages during games but you will have to wait for the game to end you're all used to it. You're all used to it by now. To that future, uh, and it's easier for me, I have to say, because I don't have to. It's easier for me because I don't have to um, talk to the. So answer questions. Mm, yeah. It should be four wins. I mean, last time in round three, I already got Hikaru, but I was lo low rated, and now no chance. Now I would, I would be the high rated player in the first three. Talented candidate master in round one again. I don't know if I'm more afraid of candidate masters or of, or of super GMs. Emotes only. Yeah, we do. We do get a candidate master. It's black car room. I'm in the mood for some, let's say, unstandard openings, even though it's not an unstandard opening, but it's like I'm playing the French on Title Tuesdays basically always. <clears throat> Let's play knight of six. If bishop f4, I will probably play the g6 bishop f5 line. It's not the main line, the main line is bishop g4, but you don't really want to enter too much theory. Now, how does this go with bishop e2? I think you go some h5, e6, and bishop d6. That's some modern, modern way of playing it. Though I have to say, I don't know it too well. 
considering Cairo is not my main my main thing. Maybe I can go H4. Let's go H4. Uh, and I will seriously consider long castles rook j g5. I won't only seriously consider it, I will actually play it. And I'm not sure if it's any good. Knight will land here in a move or two. Okay, let's go here first. No, probably knight a5. Maybe knight is also good. Let's go to a5. Now do we go queen c7 or queen e7? Let's go to e7. Then rook c, rook c, rook c8. Objectively, everything that I've done thus far is probably not all that great. It's actually quite horrible now when I look at it because there is knight b3. If I take, there is knight c6. In queen c7, there is knight of 7 Actually, it's even worse. Yeah, because he can take an a5 immediately. Okay. This is normal, I suppose. I won't even say anything. Again, flawless game by candidate master. I tried to do something clever, it didn't work. And yeah, same old stuff. Or should I say same old shit? <clears throat> I guess I'll go away for some... For some 10 minutes.
Yeah, okay, we are back. Maybe I should do the same thing as I've done in, in like early 2022. Or somewhere there to stop playing stop playing online chess completely. At least until they get they get some anti-cheating for these title Tuesday things. Um because it just makes no sense. Happens in every single event that it happens in every single event uh, that you lose to someone who is 300 or 400 FIDA rating points lower rated, and then you go to a classical over the board tournament where you can play against super GMs normally. Um. But okay. This sh I mean, this should not be taken seriously at all, this title Tuesday. This no tournament where, where there is no anti-cheating should be taken seriously at this point. Uh, hello to Stopvaken. Where's Kramnik when you need him? I mean, he's right about title Tuesdays. He's completely right that has to be played with cameras. Otherwise, no point. For example, when this champion ch champion's mm. Chester is going to begin, um, for example, when this champion's uh, Chester is going to begin, then we'll uh, then I think only grandmasters and maybe some other several of qualified players can play, and everything has to be. And everything has, everyone has to be on camera, and that will be, that will be quite good to, quite a good event, probably a good experience. But this just makes no sense. It happens on ba on every single tournament. It happens. And if I play super gems, I can play against them normal. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. But it never is. It's it's never as it's never as strong as candidate masters or fida masters in round one. They're never as strong. But okay, what can you do? We can keep going and try to win this game against the candidate master from Poland. Also someone I've never heard of. In general, they're not supposed to play bishop b6 here. It's possible, but uh, there are better lines with king e8 and then maybe knight d7, bishop c5. Uh, this what they're playing what my opponent is playing is also it's not that he's lost or anything but um, but at least white white does get some something to play for and they go c4 here or no, not I also go a4 maybe a4 b a v a c4 Four, knight b4 a5 knight c6 king d6 and i don't like it c4 <laughs> interesting okay i'll try c4 I'm not sure whether to take with the pawn or with the knight. Probably with the knight is better, and then try to open the b file and exploit these weaknesses later on. We'll see. Now I can go e4, I suppose. And now, considering this is included, okay, I can still take with the pawn. Uh, with the knight, sorry, but maybe I will take with the pawn. Just because if I get in a5 and knight b3, with rook b1, okay, here I even have to take with the pawn. But uh, it's probably fine. Okay, let's go here. Knight c8, yeah. But can't I go knight b3 now? 
I go king d6 still, that's true. Maybe knight a5 then. I mean, my point is, of course, to take the pawn. There is, and he can't defend it with rook c8 anymore. I can go some knight d6, yeah, but then I think I can go knight a5. And then, I mean, I will take over the file sooner or later, I think. But let's see. Okay, it's not trivial still. Can't do anything yet, so have to play it slowly, but at least, uh, at least I achieved something, I think, even though there is nothing direct. At least I'm up on the clock. That's not what happens very often. Probably rook c1 now. It's not the only move, but let's protect. Because he can't exploit the b file yet. I can go first knight d7 maybe, and then try. For some, but all the squares are covered, so the b file is not really... It's not really utilizable for black, or what's the word? Probably not that. G3 F4 would be quite nice if I can get it, so that way I can threaten E5. So let's try to let's try to get that. King E2 also could be a good prophylactic move, even though that's not connected with F4. If I'm planning to do this, then I should go with something like not rook B1, but maybe knight C5 next. Yeah, if king g7, then maybe I would be able to do knight c5. Now knight c5, rook c8 is still, I don't think, all that great. So let's go f4 to take. Now this is threatened. Okay, and now I think I can take the pawn. Because now this is hanging with a check. And that was the whole, the whole point. Now even though this is attacked, I think I can go either here, or even if I just move the knight away, take 6, will be a pawn up. But this seems stronger. Hopefully. Now, there is a fork, and if I'm able to take b6 and go b7, that will be basically game over. And knight a4, I mean, I can take it. I can take d6 and then go e5 and have a connected pass pawn. Probably that's better. Yeah, let's not do anything. Um, let's not do anything too stupid. I guess we just protect uh, protect the pass pawn. Okay, now I need to be careful about rook c7, knight d5. But if I'm able to evade that, things should be good. For example, bring the knight to d4, and. and this is how usually candidate masters play. I mean. But not all of them. Emotes only goes off. And say so I think I was better off the whole game. Probably there were I don't know, there were some better options here. Maybe the save four stuff. But even even the way I played it, I don't think it was any like there is always an advantage to the worst structure, just it's a matter of how big of an advantage it is with nine a five. H4, seizing some space. Surprised that I mean I would never I would not go knight c5 even though okay it's interesting this one which the engine gives I haven't seen at all. And that makes some sense. And when I achieve that four then it's then it's all good. Yeah this was okay I didn't even see knight b8. I only saw knight c4 and king d5, but at that point it was winning enough. Well played, yeah. I mean, 
what to say. I'm supposed to be stronger than candidate masters, except when they play perfect games, which happens very often, very often uh, recently. Mirch had the best. Why are you not playing title Tuesday, by the way? You said that you're going to start playing and streaming them. Leon with white, Leon with black. I mean, that, that's uh, the same thing with any player. Uh, everyone's better with white because the game is that way. GM versus CM is basically 50 50. It's a dead coin flip at this point on title Tuesdays. Yeah, it's a complete coin flip. And rating wise, if I win 15 and lose one, I, I'm holding my rating. Let's see some of the games. This one's over. This one. This one is easily lost. Okay. There should be some formal request of title of of all grandmasters to to ask for a specific GM title Tuesday and specific uh, other titles title Tuesday. Wait, I'm following someone, they should not be. Okay, emotes only. Now when we get to... Now when we got to IAMs, I'm a bit more... Uh, I'm a bit more confident. Okay, Queen d3. Several different ways to react to this line. I'll go with knight is up. Usually they take and go knight of 6, but... Let's get our opponent out of the book. Queen b5, there is always knight to 6, of course. It's castle now. Their intention is to long castle in this line and try to attack somehow on the... on the king side. B6, bishop a6 is the natural reply. Is there anything better? Okay, let's go for that. I can also play c5 next move and recapture with the pawn. That would be better than recapturing uh, than recapturing with the bishop. Now he's going to go queen g3, which is uh, like normal for the line. Now I can take and go knight f5. I can also take e2, take c3, and take e4. They also risky somehow. Okay, let's play develop the move first. Knight c6, and I'm blocking c5, but I need to put some pressure on the d4 pawn and on his center, I suppose. He goes for some bishop f4, bishop c7, and then he's going to allow for a lot of counterplay, I feel like. Hmm. Takes. Now there is knight f5, there is takes, there is knight g5. I don't want to think too much, honestly. The problem is that he now has this, so I probably have to capture with the pawn. And get into this kind of this kind of an endgame. I'll try to take over the e file because if I let him double the rooks quickly, then it could be a problem. I did try. Well, I still have g6 that I saw. So he goes c3. Queen d6, he'll go. He'll try to exchange probably the queen somehow with knight g3. Still, I think I should go for that. No, he doesn't. He surprises me. But now I can go rook d4. 
I think is good because now I'm attacking the 9 f4 with a tempo and then I can go rook e8. Um, Okay, now to rook e8 I have to e-file, there is no more attack and I think his strategy, his strategy backfired. Let's see if g5 takes d, there is queen g4. They don't see a way to exploit it. So, uh, we will have to do something else, won't we? And this knight is the worst piece which I have, how to improve it? I'm thinking for way too long again. Okay, let's play a normal move. Actually, why did they do that? Now I allowed him to double down to them. Somehow I feel like I'm thinking the longer I think, the worse move I make. Okay, what to do? If the knight comes to c4, it shouldn't be that bad, I hope. That should be free though with queen a3 ideas. f5 is definitely not a move I want to play, but what else can I do? I can exchange stuff and then knight if I was dumb. Okay, plays like this. Surprising to me again. So now I guess I should go here to protect. And if f3, then what? Then maybe problems again. Can go maybe g6 and rook e8 back. g6 I'll have to play after f3 anyway. And f5. He goes queen to six, then I take them. I'm happier than I was after f3. After f3, I think my position was just quite bad. Okay, let's try to reroute the knight to d6. And play c6 also. With rook f7 too. It's not that my position is winning or something, but at least I'm not worse anymore. Go here. And I'll try to go g5. So if c4, I think I'm first with g5 and he can't take on g5. So he does this. Now I can go here and here first. And now there's stuff there is stuff hanging with King Vita, there is check. Let's go knight f5. <sighs> Again allowed con Again allowed a ton of counterplay for no reason. Let's go g5 to get the knight away from here. I didn't really manage to get it away. I don't have a checkmate or anything, unfortunately. And I have to push the pawn. He also doesn't have a checkmate, so that's good. My last move was extremely dumb because I didn't see Knight of six at all in ninety four. 
and I should be able to run away with the king somewhere forward. Yeah, not a great game, but we'll take it. Why would I run in the in the opening? So D and bishop d2, knight c6. Yeah, maybe d5. But let me d5 was not not so that great. And this was fine too, I suppose. With rook e4, I was quite happy, and then. Yeah, we could too, but still, the structure is symmetrical, and then I should have taken, I should not have allowed to, allow to double the rooks. And also here, fp is insane, I should take with d pawn, because here after f3 I would have, my position would be, would be bad, which I did spot, but fortunately my opponent didn't. And at the end game I played relatively well for the first part, I feel like, and then for the second part I misplayed everything. D3 was extremely dumb, I should just go D4 for a start, and I immediately understood that when I allowed counterplay. There were, rook C6 was better, and then I had to go King F7, King E8, and still better than more counterplay. Here I was also supposed to go to E5, but 100%. Okay, I'm already down on the clock. Here I didn't understand at all that he can go knight of 6, knight of 4, and then I, after I go d2, it's probably trash. Okay. 2500 usually do blunder in the end. Not always, though, as we have seen. You thought it's mate? Yeah, good start. If that's trolling, then. then yeah. Don't tell me I have to play candidate masters again. It's my worst fear. By the way, I think that I'm not 100% sure, but I think the opponent I played in round one was uh, the manager of the Armenia Eagles Pro Chess League team. I'm not 100% sure though. But I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's play this one. Okay, he takes with the bishop. Let's go knight of three then. How do I play this one? Bishop g5 can't be bad, right? So knight of six and probably e5 and then takes and something. And if bishop f6. And there is more than one normal move here. D2, even bishop e3 back makes sense. Takes take c5. It's not it's not pointless either. Okay, let's play for the initiative so that I don't know if it's good. No, it's actually Probably quite ungood to say it in that way because there is this move which I didn't see. And then I'll have to do something like this and then once bear it's black. Yeah, this I'm a bit surprised about. Maybe I shouldn't be, it's probably all, all good for him. But at least, at least it wasn't the strongest. How to play an endgame like this.
I will surely play knight d7. Maybe I haven't prevented knight d7 with this. Okay, if he goes knight d6, then maybe I achieved something, even though it's very sketchy. But at least he can't get rid of this knight. Not yet, that is. Let's go here. Now we'll take. If he takes with the rook, I think I can take them c6, and then the end game should be extremely good when I take c6 twice, take d8, and then play b3, and a7 should hang. Had he taken with the king, there would be check on d8, followed by knight d6. So if I'm not mistaken, things are looking good. Takes. I don't have a better move than takes. I'm now. I mean, I wanted to play b3, but I still think it's best because then I protect my c4 pawn and I will take a7. And this I actually saw. But yeah, maybe it's better for him than I thought it actually is. There's some way to exploit it, probably not, but let's give a check, stop this, take this, I'll have to give up this one, but doesn't matter, because if we play a3, there is knight c6, if we play king b2, there is a6. So yeah, what can you do? I'll go here and probably here too. Now he has to, ah, he can go there again. And I forgot about that. How to play this end game now? Okay, one. Okay, let's play a free to stop this knight from coming here, and also after some rook a1, knight d3, that it's not an f2 pawn is not hanging. I think I should objectively be winning, I think, even though it takes a lot of struggle to win it. And in blitz, everything's possible, as we know. Okay, let's play rook b2. If this, then I can go probably king c3 or king a3. And then bring the knight back to c6 where I want it. So a6, now I can't do what I intended, but I'll have to route the knight to b5 instead. h4 feels like a good prophylactic move to not let his pawns go too far advanced. Advance too far, sorry, my English is broken again. Do I want to take the bishop or not? Probably not. Ideally, I would like to get rid of the knight because the bishop is very restricted. It can't attack too many pieces. Maybe it was possible to take the bishop and go c5, but I didn't see it. What can you do? Knight e5, I'll go rook d4 and then continue pushing the b pawn. Now I might even go c5. Don't see reason not to. Maybe b6 was also possible. 
we are looking up. Now both B and C6 can be played. G5 I don't care about that much. Let's go B6 first. Actually because of knight B8 it was supposed to do the other order. So probably it's still winning. I can get the king in. I don't see how he stops the king. And his own king is very... Passive. Let's go here. Am I threatening? No, I'm not threatening that. Wait. I can go here now. And this is covered. Take it. <clears throat> Not a great game, but a win. Bishop g5 should be bust, but yeah, maybe queen d2. This was extremely stupid. Dr. Queen is some queen two don't have anything. I just thought that he has to take. And even this is fine. Yeah, knight bd7 was surely better. Knight 6 now, even though it, the engine says it's okay, now at least at least I have something. Yeah, king d8 was probably better, because here it seems like I have a very promising position. It's, it's supposed to be technically winning, I, th I feel like. With the two passers, but yeah, it took some technique. Fortunately, the moves are relatively straightforward, so I wasn't able to screw up the endgame, even though I tried hard with this b6. But okay. Somehow I got the job done. Uh, hi there, Zoraka. How is it going? <laughs> yes, terrible as always. You're my true hope of winning title Tuesday today? Um, King Shield, that's only because Mircha the best is not playing and streaming, so... Yeah, 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 right. I mean, I lost the first game again in 15 moves against... Uh, against the Candidate Masters, so... Now I have that six minute break. So I don't know. And then we continue. I think I'll still I'll still play I'll still face uh, low rated in uh, in round five, but we'll see. No matter who I face, I need to win the games now. Yeah, I'm trying to see if the opponent I played in round one is the manager of Armenia Eagles. I can't find the information. I know the last name is the same. And considering the project league has been cancelled from this season onwards, I will not be playing and playing and competing for the Croatia Bulldogs team. But what can you do? The Champions Chester is going to be it's going to be happening though. <laughs> yeah, we all played this opponent. I'm just looking for candidate masters with three out of Three out of four. There are also WF arms. <laughs> Is there some game still going on? Probably not. Yeah, not really. I've gotten five rating points in the last three wins. So just ten more after that first game. 
It would be unfortunate to get fared against Spurgeon's chess. I mean, if I can choose an opponent, I'll choose Hikaru. That's not even a question, but he is probably on 4 out of 4. I would always choose the... Yeah. But this, this candidate master is going, going very strong. After me, he beat 27.50. I am, then he lost to Elianov. But yeah, he plays 96, 94.5, and then 93. That's like, uh, that's very, very strong. And uh, if your opponent plays a perfect game, you will lose. That's, uh, that's just how it goes. Manager, CM, Artak, Manakin. Is this, is this that one? Or not quite? I mean, I can't find him now. I don't even want to think about that, honestly. I just want to play normal games. Maybe we do get some game against the Super GM sooner or later. We'll see. Yeah, is this Sartak the same as Art? Art what was the name? Artyom. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's not. It doesn't matter. Who cares? I still remember when we... When I played with the Croatia Bulldogs against the Armenia Eagles and all the traumatic experience. And like, three out of four opponents played, played a 100% game against me. As you can find in the database, of course. Probably not. Yeah, maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. I don't really care. At least the top guys are doing okay. Hikaru 4 out of 4, Wesley top 4 out of 4, Levon 4 out of 4. Artemio 4 out of 4. And that's good. MVL is in 3.5. Didn't beat somebody. Maybe it was round 1, not round 3. I oh, am. Yeah. Kramnik is playing. How is he doing? He drew with a CM. And. He beat a GM, I am a Lathan. But you see, for example, Kramnik played 94, 94, 98, and 95. So, almost as strong, yeah. Extremely, extremely high accuracy. As expected from top players, of course. But it's not expected from CMs. No, of course, Kramnik is not sus. <laughs> Come on. What's the delay? There's probably no delay. I'm just incorrectly evaluating when six minutes has passed. Where is the chronograph? I don't see it. Doesn't matter. Kramnik stream title, first cheating Tuesday pleasure. Okay, we're playing against the Grandmaster. That's good. Uh, <laughs> that means we're not playing against the Candidate Master. D4. Let's go D5. Play solid this time. I won't go for the King's Indians, even though maybe I should. Just some old boring stuff. Or maybe let's go Knight E4. 
some funky stuff. Just to see how RGM RGM uh, rendered eyes to it. And our C5 is the correct against BC3. I mean, C3 is the main line. The whole point of this stupid line is when they take take with the queen, you play a5 and then after a3 you have bishop b4. So they have to spend another move on... They have to waste another move on uh, development. So now my opponent's playing very aggressively. Stay here. With a4. It's probably not objectively best, but it's definitely an interesting, interesting try with a4. Okay, goes there. Should probably take here. Should be five. Can go knight c6 too, but he's going to short castle probably. I feel like it's better to to get rid of this bishop. Okay, take. He takes. Uh, I'm planning to go bishop b4. Okay, he's playing. Playing it 100% uh, for the initiative might be actually good for for him. I might go pawn grabbing, but I don't really believe in it. That's the problem. So we'll go bishop e7. Then he'll probably take me d5, and then if I take here, he will. He just goes knight d4. It's not what I expected. In short castle, I'll go d4. D queenie. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Let's short castle. I can go knight f5, but then I'll go bishop f6. He can also do this, and then I'll go knight c6 again. I'm threatening e5. Yeah, he can play for some, something with e4, then I might say take go rook c8, queen somewhere, and then f5, not to allow him to go f5, and then go rook c4, and we'll play on. Um, but I'd probably be quite happy there. I can go knight f5, maybe that's stronger. But yeah, this one I don't think is all that great for him, but I might be wrong. Find out in a move or two. I think f5. I need to play because if I don't, then he will get to see me f5 and f6, which I don't want to allow. Um, so, yeah, rook c4, rook c8, and then trying to push these pawns is my idea. And even though he does have a protected pass pawn, which is always strong, there are not that many pieces. And with this bishop being stuck behind the wall of pawns for now, like he can go bishop a3, for example, and then get rid of it, then go rook c4. But the point is that uh, I don't think that it matters that much that he has this pawn. Um, so yeah, he's spending quite a lot of time here. Somehow today time time management is the only thing I'm, I'm good at. Okay, he goes for an extremely aggressive g4 approach. We'll go g6 for sure. Um, because if had I taken, there would be f5, of course. If takes, I'll probably take with the rook, because I want to keep the queen here for some attacking potential. And this guy is, by the way, someone who is very aggressive. He's trying to attack at all costs, uh, as far as I can see, and just play play a very, very dynamic chess. Now I think I'll go b5 to, to support this rook. If he ever takes, then I get... And I also get a protected pass pawn, but mine should be better than his. Let's go here with queen g4. Or queen h3, no, this will be hanging. It looks uncomfortable to deal with, let's see what he's going to do against it. It's not that I have some kind of a huge threat yet, but I might start slowly pushing the pawn if he plays some bishop move. If he plays a queen move, then, well, 
I can now probably c3, why not? I don't see why not. Bishop c1, I will take this and what does he play? Okay, and I, the one I will take for sure. So now he's claiming that I have two things hanging, which is true, but I can go queen c4 probably. Or queen d3. Queen d3, there is queen d5 check, king h8. Queen c4 is safer, I think. There is a rook hanging, so. Um, okay, he resigns. This was decent. I feel like it was decent. Yeah, the 94 line is something you should definitely not try at home. C5 says it's not that great. E4 is ambitious, but probably not best. To the right move order is D, Queen E, then C, D, which makes sense, of course. Somehow I didn't feel like this is all that great. It seems to be good for white. But then I gradually outplayed him. E5 is probably wrong. Uh, wrong plan strategically, because after F5, as I saw it, as I saw in advance, it's probably good for me strategically. And yeah, here he tried to attack me, but he overextended and and I exploited it. Simon Williams always plays so dynamically, like his attacking spirits. Ah, yeah, wait, this is that Simon Williams guy. I've heard of him, and I've seen him, by the way, once when I was playing Reykjavik Open 2023. He made some masterpiece there, some queen sacrifice, which was uh, published everywhere against Rachmangulov, I think. I don't know much about the guy, by the way. I mean, he's a GM, so he's surely a good player. Not as good as a candidate master from round one, but still a good player. Somehow we are on four out of five after after that first round. Don't ask me how. Yeah, it was a nice game. That was decent. Let's keep it going. We will definitely try to keep it going. Considering I'll be facing grandmasters now, at least I hope so. Then I'm more confident than than with candidate masters. Let's see some of the games. Maybe Aronian, who is, I won't say a newbie to title Tuesdays, but he started playing much more only recently. When, since the titled cup was launched. This is not an easy thing to win, by the, sorry, by the way. Even though your king is constantly weak, uh, with black and uh, you need to cover from the checks. It's not so easy to get to that white king. So it could be 50 moves ringing soon. And have low to step kick 23. Sorry, I'm just checking something on the phone. No, now I would, I won't say I would prefer white, but okay, now I would definitely prefer white after queen c5. Why didn't Theronian overpress against me in the last, last title Tuesday? He just crushed me. Oh well. There's probably a safer way to do this for for white considering for for white considering he his king is now not safe either, but uh, 
this will get the job done, of course, it will just take forever. <laughs> Maybe not forever. I will take a lot of moves. Now Queen G3 ends the game. So Sugirov or Sugirov as the English pronunciation is, but I think it's Sugirov. Wins. Kamnik just crushed Tuba, very suspicious. I mean He he always has chances against super GMs. But he often loses against candidate monsters. Same as I do. Believe it or not, I am again playing a low rated player. An international master. 27 60. Okay, let's play the bishop f6 and queen b3 line. They sometimes don't know it, so let's see. Usually g3, h4, bishop h3, all the normal stuff we do. And there are several, several, I won't say opening tricks, but sort of opening tricks in this line. Bishop d6 is one of the good moves for black. Queen d8 was another good move. I'm waiting for him to play c6 because then he'll run into this stuff. This I think still doesn't work due to queen f5. I don't know the exact theory anymore. Let's go bishop h3 then. Go c6 now. Should I take? Probably yes. <clears throat> I played this once or twice against Wesley So in some some casual games, and I would always have a worse position. Maybe it would be about time to change the whole opening. By the way, let's castle. Play King G two and try to solidify. The whole point of White's play is that this rook on a7 will be stuck here for some more time, but if black remains solid, we won't have anything, unfortunately. And that's what's happening this game. Okay, King G2 shouldn't be bad, so I can't go e3 or anything and get rid of this knight, at least not yet. Considering that he has quite a lot of pressure here. I don't know if he can make moves like e5, maybe he can, but then he has to think about d90, 90, 90, something takes, and I mean, first of all, he needs to think about 94, but then I guess queen g6 holds the water. Maybe takes, takes. Okay, go c5. It's very interesting. Let's take. I mean, here I thought that he blundered, but maybe he didn't. Am I missing something? Let's find out. Because I thought that this is uh, that this is losing. That he has to take with the with the bishop. Uh, now this is hanging. This is hanging. Bishop b8. I have a queen c5. So can he trap my queen somehow? Knight b7, but then I take and b7 is hanging. <laughs> Don't see a defense, at least not yet. Maybe queen d8, queen d8, queen a7. He can't attack my queen. If I'm able to go b4 next move, I'll be winning. Queen d8, queen a7, b6, b4, but yeah, b4, if rook f7, I take it, I take c5, and I have way too much material for the queen, I think. Still, he might try it. Or start, but if he starts with rook f7, there is knight g5. Does that change anything? I can't say I'm sure. I don't think he should resign just yet. 
And I would try b6 at least. My intention was to go b4, but after b4, rook f7, this was my intention. But I mean, I would play on. Anyway, this was a fortunate win. I mean, well, not really fortunate, but he had a very okayish position. Until that careless blunder with. Uh, yeah, that queen b6 is usually. Usually I want them to play c6 here and then they lose to queen b6. But it was fine here too. But you know, Max position is perfectly fine. This was surprising because I thought that after bishop c5 I can just play some move. I, I thought actually to play e4 after bishop c5 and I thought that my position. No, e4 is not moved in for me. Hopefully I would have seen that. But yeah, after knight c5, it's just careless. Okay. Five in a row. I almost got all the rating back from the first game, but not quite. Two more points. And by the way, is the stream lagging or something? Feels like I'm lagging a bit. Let's see Vladimir against another Vladimir. No, against Vladislav. Against Vladislav. How do you search for interesting lines in the opening? Do you watch games or just go move my move in databases? I mean, I usually pick it up from from games. I also do some of my own analysis then when I pick it up in games. Yeah, Artemiev's down on the clock as always. But he's a pawn up here against Kremnik. If they make a draw, I might play against one of them. I'll have to check this line a bit. I've, I've had bad positions against Wesley and I've had bad and, and this guy in the a6 line. I mean, maybe I should just play a6 c5 and play my not Slav exchange, but that structure. Yeah, Kramnik in a bit of a problem, I guess. He's trying to get out of it by forcing a rook game. Oh, I don't like that move. Might be good though. Okay, we have to rook a3, I soften, I'm threatening already to go here. I'm probably taking go here. No, he can just take all the pawns and then just promote basically. Yeah, the king goes to b8 and uh, the rook comes to b7 and it's game over. The stream is running perfectly and your play is impeccable so far. Yeah, that candidate master disagrees. But the stream is running perfectly, that's good to hear because I feel like I'm having some lag on chess that come. I don't know why. We don't believe in jinxing, guys. We don't believe in such things. We're not superstitious in this channel. Okay, so we have more points than Kramnik. That's something. Let's see Hikaru against Minlay if they're still playing. They are. Okay, this is a dead draw, I feel like. Because the king can't ever go go anywhere without white attacking the pawns. The h7 pawn is too strong. One day you'll get the CM title too? Yeah, I've never had the CM title, guys. Never ever. Even Lenia Dominguez is playing on this title Tuesday. That's very interesting. He started playing too. I don't think I've seen him play title Tuesdays. I won't say ever, but in a very long time. And when you see at when you look at all the players of five which have, who have five out of six, guess who has the worst tie break? And guess who has the absolute worst tie break out of all five five out of six players? <laughs> Yours truly. 
Who's the Korean? That's not Korean, that's Drigalov. It's a Russian player. I don't know why he has the South Korean flag. <laughs> yeah, five games in a row and a nice streak. 2400 CM right there too. Don't tell me. Where is the candidate? Oh yeah, actually there is. Oof. I, I I won't and now I'll I won't be playing. I'll be playing against someone high rated this game. I'm playing I'm playing against some three thousand now or three one hundred. CMs are Leon's greatest nightmare by far. No no no! Now we're playing against the super GM. Come on. Now we'll be playing against the Super GM, not against uh, not against Candidate Masters. Where is Inja? You mean Alexander Indic from Serbia? No clue. His so name is Betsa. 95, I think. Either he's below me or he's not playing at all. Actually, the standings are getting updated all the time, so I, I don't even know. People are just better nowadays as we have engines to study with. Definitely true. More and more knowledge is available. But look, only Wesley has 6 out of 6. And everyone else is on 5.5 or 5. That's strange. Usually there are more people on 100% by, by round 6 or 7. Some game is still going on, I suppose. So we're not starting. Okay, playing against another former member of Armenia Eagles, Hakobian. Why is the chest there at Comsight lagging? I guess it's connected to them. Okay, let's play Kings Indian, I want to win the game. Who cares about, uh, about her opponent, their rating, etc. That's all. Less important. Let's play knight to six and knight d seven line. You play d five, you can go here. And then take c4. They go bishop b3. Hey, they can also do this, they go e5. Now you're spoiled for choice. You can even go here and then a5, knight to six, knight c5. Knight d4 is the main move, but I'm gonna go here now and try to play the Mardo Plata style with f5. With Knight of sounds, by the way, not supposed to be best, but who cares? We go e5 or not? It's a good question. I don't think I'm gonna play it. I play f5. They almost always take in this line, and I'll take with the j pawn, trying to hold the center, and then bring the knights here and start pushing stuff. Now, considering that he did this, I think I'm going to open open the A file, just because the position is more open. I can go E4 also, but Knight G6 looks the most normal, like the most normal move. Or gives up squares. Now I bring the Knight first and then start pushing, or maybe E for now, even though it also gives up a square. Maybe King H8 is a prophylactic move. Playing quickly will also be important. Uh, will also be important here. Maybe I should not have played. Uh, maybe I should not have played a five so that after knight b five I have a six. But knight b five. I mean, I won't have to move the queen. I can just go play some other move. A three. I'm not sure about. Feels doesn't feel right. But and then again. Who cares if it feels right, if it works in the end. I mean, I'm tempted to go queen h4 to attack c4, and then bishop h6, but I'm not sure if it's any good. Not right, anyway. I don't know if I'll go here, maybe I'll go knight b6 or knight f6. At least the queen is near his king, so I also have great ideas like this with an attack. 
And though his king is relatively safe for now and my pieces are not that well developed for an attack, uh, that well placed for an attack. Maybe he can go knight b5? That I didn't consider and I should have. Because if takes bishop d3, queen d5, there is knight c7. Could be a problem. Yeah, maybe I'll have to go back after knight b5. At least I'm up on the clock by a big margin. Maybe, maybe that will also be important considering it's a sharp position. And considering it's a sharp position, he's also thinking about quite a lot of tactical opportunities. Maybe also this is what he's thinking about because after bishop d3, my queen is actually trapped, which I haven't, haven't thought about at all. Bishop h6, there is six takes. And then knight b5. Can I go here? I'm not sure if that's good. But let's try. Now maybe I'm threatening here because some bishop b3, then I can take. And here I thought to go queen g5. And then uh, if c5, I can go here threaten. Threaten some things. I don't know if it works actually, but it was my plan. Now I've got to go here. Can I do it? Rook d1, there is knight f3. f4. It's f4, knight f3. I'm not 100% sure about that, I have to say. I go bishop h6, that's more normal. I need to be able to go knight b5. Mm, yeah. Unsure about what to do. Knight of 4 takes, takes. Kind of like knight of 4, by the way. Let's try it. Because if he takes takes, then I get the e3 square for my knight on c4. And otherwise, queen g2 and knight h3 are, are both threats. I guess we go here. And now there is no more knight b5 and stuff, and my bishop from g7 is uh, is quite quite good to protect the pawn. I feel like I have a great position. Let's take with the pawn. Rook eight. Could have gone rook a one, but I'm waiting for rook f three first. Now I'll try to go here. I don't know if this works. I really have no clue, but let's try. This has to think. Probably lost there in that tactical skirmish, but I don't care. Yeah, the King's Indian got the job done. I was, I was probably lost. I think he should have played 96 and not uh, not 92, but who's to know? I mean, who's to know? The engine will know. But, uh, yeah, 
was probably fine here, but still it's a skirmish. How did take work? No, it didn't. Bishop d3, queen h4, knight b5. Yeah, e4 is tough. Okay, maybe I should have taken. Knight d2. I mean, what was with knight d2? What was I thinking here? Bishop b1, I think. And then knight f4, because I only fought about takes, takes. And then I wasn't sure what's going to happen after knight b5. That's why I didn't do this, but I played, but I played uh, knight f4. Surprisingly enough, the engine says it's a blunder. Yeah, bishop d4, a complete bluff. Okay, queen e1. Yeah, queen e1, of course. What was with this? Yeah, takes, takes, maybe not that clear. And yeah, here I found a nice, nice tactical end game, end game win. <sighs> yeah, well played, let's go. It wasn't, it wasn't well played, I was lost. I did to have four, maybe I had nine or four. No, but I also had knight a free check. No, f4 was not what bothered me. Bishop one bothered me. Uh, Hong in white. Nice try, my boy. <laughs> well, I was just keep, keep thinking. Please keep playing fast. I mean, in the end, I needed to see a tactic to win. You now get familiar with play when streaming. I mean. I've had nice title Tuesdays on stream. It's it's way easier, I have to say, for because of there are two reasons. First of all, there is increment, and secondly, I don't have to talk to the chat uh, because it's emote only, and I don't lose time on that. How do I not have the worst tiebreak? Okay, nice bluff. It's like when you have two free in poker and you go all in. Okay, emotes only. You guys asked who Drigolov is, well, now we'll play against him. What do I play against him? Let's play Kings Indian again. I'm doubled, I doubled black, so... Okay, I'll play the Bishop G4 line, even though maybe he has something prepared. I, I think I played it against him last time, somewhere. How am I supposed to play here? With knight c6, right? And then they play. Okay, they play e5, then you go here, and they think you take. Looks like this. Okay, let's play c6 now. I think I've played against him this stuff once or twice uh, in casual games. I mean, why is someone better objectively? But again, he has a destroyed pawn structure and definitely black has their own chances. Maybe I should not have played uh, the bishop g4 line, but something more normal. But what can you do? Okay, do I take now? Okay, let's take and go queen a5. Okay, he takes like this. It's a bit of a surprise to me. But of course, it has a big strategical point. Okay, let's go queen a5 anyway. I need to activate that queen. It goes king f1. Hmm. Let's castle. I'll have to castle sooner or later. He'll go h5. And then probably rook e8. Take, take, and then. Then something. Okay, f5, he's going for it. If I take rook g1, I probably should take and reroute the knight there via e5, probably. 
And though the dead attack is actually quite dangerous, my queen on a5 is out of play. But even if it stayed on d8, it wouldn't be in play really. He's probably thinking about queen c2, queen f5 ideas. Also make a lot of sense. Queen d2, he wants bishop h6. Hmm. How do I deal with this? I need a move quickly. Maybe some e5 and f4. It's, it's not like... No, actually it doesn't even work. There's... <laughs> playing so poorly. There is a rook g1 after f4. Which I didn't see at all. He might be getting mated now. Why did I play e5? Such a horrible move. No, queen g5 is a threat. I don't know how to defend this, but maybe I can't. Yeah, this is not good. Bishop just sound like queen h6 is also a checkmate threat. Yeah, I really played it. I played a bad game. I played a very bad game in this one. I should have gone knight ninety five and knight just six normally, as I intended. Probably my position is not that bad, but here it's just awful. I mean, I tried to play a piece down, didn't have anything better, and there goes my title Tuesday hopes for today. Unfortunately. I can't even be in top ten probably with with such with losing in round one. I can't create counterplay. This one is just too bad. Can try for this, but not much hope left. Even though there was one title Tuesday game some time ago where I lost against this player uh, being a clean piece up. So hopefully something similar can go to in, in my favor in this game. But that just dreams not reality. How did I play it so badly? Unbelievable. Surprisingly, there is no win on the spot, but of course it's dead loss. Should have gone knight f7. No, I should not have gone knight f7. But... Yeah, the way I played it, there even was a win on the spot.
I don't know what to say. But I always do ends up like this, no matter how how many games I win, it always something like this always happens. Yeah, even if I go 95 and 96, it's just bad. And here there is no 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 chance. Slowly lost. Maybe it's smarter to take and go king g5, king f4. I didn't consider it. I should have. It's probably not that cleanly winning because, uh, for example, king f2, e4. And it's winning, of course, but it had to work a little harder. Just say how much you love us. I don't even know what it is to love, honestly. Struggling with, struggling to understand what that word means throughout the life, throughout my life. Maybe now it will be better. Chester Tom was lagging. Yeah, now it's not lagging anymore. I don't know why it was lagging. Okay. Yeah, that guy almost hit his peak rating here. But yeah, one bad game and it's all gone. I doubt I can even be in top 10 with 9 out of 11. And to get to 9 out of 11, so it's also not it's also going to be extremely hard. I hope you're not too disappointed or that you had high expectations from me to win title Tuesday or so. But we have to be realistic and say that uh, that I don't, I didn't deserve more, considering how I played. Because against Hakobian I was also lost, and then I blocked him, and uh, this game I just played badly. So, yeah. And the first game, what can I say? 9 of 11 should be very close to the top, not when you have this tie break. Not when you have the, not when you lose round 1, then you have the worst tie break. How are the guys doing in Tata still? Games Firuja lost. Um, last I looked at it was somewhere near here where he had a good position. Yeah, I guess he played the wrong plan. He just lost everything. Maybe the time trouble was also a problem. Nepanga she lost against Wei Yi. Yeah, the, the, the whole line was interesting. From white, I mean, there was, a, there was a strategical point, and yeah, I did not play him there. Okay, some draws, no normal. Warner done against Parham. Yeah, there was this 94 was uh, the blunder and after long castles, it's just not hard, not easy to untangle. Did he have any chance later? So far, Black's play seems extremely reasonable. 
Why not rook d8? Was he afraid of knight h7, g5, and h4? Probably yes. Yeah, these two pawns, no matter what the engine says, the endgame was always hard to hold. Okay, Jew lost, uh, that I paid attention to. And yeah, Jordan was in trouble after after the opening and never got a chance. Uh, what else? Challengers. Start the one. Yeah, this was uh, this was a very very weird decision. This knight e5 removes the knight from the center. And the attack is just strong. And it's very interesting because I recently saw a title Tuesday game between Salem and Nakamura, where Salem was white in a similar structure and he he attacked he attacked here and uh, with white in a similar way. And he was completely winning. Surprised he entered it with black. And there is no chance here. Okay, I mean, this is probably boring for you guys. Hans Lehmann won. Very high accuracy against Harika. I mean, I saw the game, he completely outplayed her. Rolik one. Here was the King's Gambit, but it didn't turn out, turn out great. And though there, there was. The game was complicated to begin with. This was a time trouble blunder, I suppose. Because now you're not even material dominant. Okay, very sharp. Sharp game there. Mm. Torobo's winning. What did he play? Some Sicilian, right? No. It was... What is this stuff? It's interesting to follow some very good games. Yeah, I mean. Here, objectively, it's somewhat similar to a King's Indian structure. D5 is not to be played here because the bishop in A7 is quite good, supporting F5, F4, and it gets opened up. And yeah, Kotobov now to play his I am opponent here. Here, he, he don't think he saw that knight D3 at all. Pleased to know. Of course, I'm doing this very quickly because uh, uh, because the game, my game, is going to start soon. And there's some things still in play. But yeah, I'm expecting the round nine to start to start soon. Do I enjoy looking for classical games still? I mean, yeah, definitely. Especially in uh, these sharp openings. I definitely enjoyed that more than my last Blitz game. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, I'm on 51st place. Even, like, okay, I'm sharing quite a lot, but, uh, yeah. Okay, emotes only. I think this is the player. No, I never played against him. The name, I have never played against him, actually. I thought that, uh, that I played against him and lost in one of the earlier title Tuesdays, but that was someone else. I was also Spanish, I am. Let's go e4, b5, let's take. Play this line. Mm. 
and we got crushed in this once or twice. And but I'm still playing it. I don't know if H4 is the move, but I'll play it. Mostly because I'm in a in a spot that I have to win all three games if I want. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I want. No chances anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm playing sharp sharply. The whole plan might not be good. It's probably not good. Okay, let's go d5 then. We'll go e5. Hmm. Now I have some kind of a Sicilian structure, which is probably. Actually, I don't know what's going on. No clue. G4 is down move. G5. Probably not great, but I'll play it anyway. Knight of 6, G5 is the idea. And then go for an attack. Knight b6. Yeah, this is probably the reason why it went. I have to take, which is definitely not my idea. He'll take with the queen, or go rook g1 or something. My king is just in the center of the board. Just far from ideal. I mean, I saw E4, but I thought that it's not good. Let's see why I'm wrong. Because rook eight, I think I can go bishop d3, and wherever the bishop goes, I take the rook. And otherwise, problems. Maybe something like rook e8, bishop d3, f5, gf, and bishop, bishop somewhere. So I don't know. He takes, then probably just rook d1 and bishop d3. Okay, so he does something completely different. And I can take and go queen e2 if nothing else. Let's try that. And then go here with the king to safety. It's not like I'm better or anything, uh, kind of as bad as my opponent, but. Uh, I was much worse than before. Now he's attacking stuff. Can go queen f5, I'm not sure if it's good. Okay, I'll do that. He can't chase the queen away because my knight is nicely placed in f3. If he takes, maybe I can go g5, maybe not, I don't know. Probably it's not that great yet. Should probably take. Can't move the king to go g5 because this stuff is hanging. Rook e4 I saw, but now. Oh wait, now there is rook f4. That I did not see. It's a problem. Okay, let's get rid of the queen then. He takes, we go here. Rook g1, rook g1, then this is hanging. But he has queen b2. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. Because it takes... Uh, king h3. There is a b4. Okay, wait, let's think. A b4, or back 92, 94. 
I can't say I like it, but I like it better than the other line. At least his rooks are uncoordinated for now, and when the knight comes to e4, and the, I'll attack d6, and uh, there are chances. Oh, and now here is best. I think. Now I got something, I got a passed pawn. Play a bit quicker and you will see the hanging rook. Rook, rook a free check and he was still better. So I have to be careful not to lag there. And now I have a hard task of winning this uh, this one game. I don't know how hard it is all also because uh, I have a knight. I have to play quickly. And that's the first thing. First and foremost. I need f5. Deserve to lose that game, but yeah, he played too quickly there. The whole line is not something something to write home about, by the way. If you're playing this stuff uh, with knight b5, then at least play bishop. Um, at least you should play bishop uh, bishop c4. But okay, and h5, h4 is way over ambitious. And that was not a horrible position. E4 was probably wrong. Even though he's still better, as I said, uh, if anyone's better, it's him. At least I got some practical chances. Yeah, rook a3, king g2, bishop f8, d6. I mean, yeah, worse, but then the engine gives zeros too. And this is winning, you just need to find the right strategy to break through with f5, f6. Nice win that made me smile with picking up both of his rooks. <laughs> yeah, glad to hear that. It wasn't a great game, by the way. It wasn't a great game. But we have 7 out of 9, which is much better than in the previous title Tuesdays. Like this week, the past week, and the week before. And by the way, how is how is that candidate master doing? And after round four, he lost three with a horrible accuracy and quit. He went to twenty three hundred. Very interesting. Wesley 8 out of 9, Arigaishi 8 out of 9, Lazavik 8 out of 9, Nakamura and Fedosev. Then 5 more players and 7 and a half. And then a bunch of players and 7. In the end my tiebreak is not that bad. Some people have a worse tiebreak than me.
Okay, let's go remote only. We're playing against Shimanov. He became somewhat of an expert, I think, in uh, in online chess, especially in online blitz. But this line is not great. Aero Black is immediately ha immediately has a great position. Artemia once also played this against me. I don't know why they're doing it. Because now it's not like that line. Uh, this is now not like that line where you you have d4 and I have the pawn on in there. So yeah, I was threatening checkmate. He just prevented it. Bishop e2, all the normal stuff. But yeah, black has black has a great position here. Yeah, rook e8. I'm not sure if we should put the queen somewhere there. Maybe it doesn't belong there. Hmm. Let's start with rook b8. We'll need the rook there sooner or later. e5. I never really like e5 from him, but maybe I'm wrong. Now if knight a4 I can take a5 and do this, I can probably play b5 and uh, a, b, queen, b, or rook, b. Probably rook, b6, so that I can go queen, c7, queen, d7, rook, b8. If he plays some knight, a4, I can take, take this, and then there is a knight, a3. Yeah, I don't think he was familiar with this line in the as far as I know, he's, uh, he's an e4 player. Of course, this doesn't. I have a good position, but it doesn't mean I'm going to win or something. It just means, just means I have a good position. I'll triple on the B file to attack the spawn. Move knight D1, reasonable. I mean, I'd like to go E5, but probably I can't. Let's go Queen B7. That was my plan. Rook b4 first and then maybe start pushing. Because here it's highly unlikely he can ever sack or something. There are many holes and not really many pieces to attack me with. Yeah, king of one is probably prophylaxis against knight of three, but still. So queen c2, queen a5 is the idea. Go queen b6 maybe. And then a5, a4. Probably. He can't attack the rook, as far as I can see. Okay, he can with knight d3, but then I take and continue the same thing. And yeah, I'm trying to seize more space here. It's not that it will give me a winning uh, winning position or anything, but at least uh, this will be a backward pawn then, and I will get some squares. This is, of course, a long positional battle. One more of the plans, which I could might go for is this, but it's, I like the knight on e5. For a6, uh, oh, sorry, a5, maybe I can try to attack the c4 pawn with the bishop. And uh, it will be harder to defend it for sure. Okay, he goes now here. And now he goes a4, still protected. Now it now there could be a problem because I can't kill bishop c bishop c eight bishop a six still. There should be other reasonable reasonable ideas. Hmm. Where's the position after removal? Like knight g four. Takes f takes. And try to go bishop f five then. Can go knight c3. No, he can't go knight c3. Here, the knight d3. d3. I mean, I don't know, but let's see. 
I have to do something. Okay, he doesn't touch anything. Why can't I take B2 now? Bishop B2. I think he blundered. I'm attacking it one more time, but he's defending me. This is probably just uh, just uh, a blunder. But let's see, maybe he has something in store which I'm not seeing. Okay, no one I will take. And probably go back somewhere with the bishop. But where? I guess all the way back. I want to take with the pawn if he takes, that's why I didn't take on e4. And if he doesn't take, then at least uh, my rooks will be, I'll have more rooks to penetrate with. Okay, queen a2. No, he wants rook a6. Now maybe I should take and go queen, uh, queen b. But queen b3, but okay, let's take and go knight e5 first. I don't want to allow any counterplay with queen b7 or something. Now I can. Wait, I go there and go queen a6. Now this bishop doesn't have a function anymore, so we'll try to take the knight with it. Maybe I didn't play it in the best way. But okay, let's take, go back. Without this knight. I don't actually know. I'll try to take over the A file and then penetrate somehow using both of the files. Feels very logical. But I stopped his counterplay in a good way, I think. Ah, he has this trick. That's annoying. I didn't see that. At first. Still he can't really can't really exploit it, I think. Okay, now he's going for some desperation. Okay, rook a2. Queen b8 with queen g5 should come. Queen h6 next. I mean, I think it's too winning to screw up, but let's see. Okay, that was a good game. That was a good game, but of course he, it helped me that he was completely unfamiliar with the, with the line and the strategy in it. Because like immediately after d5, black is, black is the one who has the upper hand. And yeah. Of course you're, you don't want to suffer for the whole game with white. And a5 immediately exploiting things. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but the way I played it, it's also it's also quite good. B8, queen b7, knight c. Oh, I had knight c4 and rook c4 with bishop b5. I didn't even see that. Played it strategically. And yeah, here you. I don't think, don't think I played it in the most accurate way, but still he had. Uh, still, like e4 was desperation, but he can't move the knight anywhere and. Otherwise, I just go some rook a7, rook b7, rook b6, or rook a2, just. Uh, and I can always go bishop b5 to protect the b6 pawn, just these pieces are too badly placed for any kind of counterplay. No threats. And, uh, okay, there, I mean, I had 10, 10 quicker wins, but uh, even the way I played it was, was good. Here I had knight in one, which I didn't see. This is enough. Yeah, that was crushing. 3,000 gems we can defeat, but uh, but candidate masters are a bigger problem.
No, actually it's the same. I, I have 2 out of 3 against Candidate Masters and I have 2 out of 3 against 20... against 3000 plus GMs. And there you have it. But no matter what, I will call this title Tuesday a success. Considering... Uh, considering how the past 2 weeks have gone, no matter the last game. Who am I going to play? The lowest rated. Probably someone. Could be Lenier. Lenier or this I am terrible. That would be my guess. But I could I could calculate the pairings that I don't feel like doing it right now. And by the way, is it my imagination or am I always black this tournament? Black, white, black, black. Yeah, six blacks for thus far, six blacks and four whites. So now I got a white game. Hopefully. There have been instances where I was seven times white or black. And this is one of those. How am I seven times seven blacks in an 11 round, 11 round event? Okay. Doesn't matter. I want to play against Galco. Caro, Cillian, French. I can play French. He always goes for the advance, he always has a predictable repertoire, but it, since their last meetings, it, like online meetings of course, I've changed my repertoire a bit and started to go for the, for the queen b6 line. Yeah, e3. Let's go a6. And b4. Then I want to go c4 next. I'll play the g5 line, and I don't know if it's good here, but you have to do something. Otherwise, they will just put way more pressure here. Jigalko used to be way stronger classical, but then he became 100% specialist in uh, non-land blitz and rapid. And bullet, not rapid. So since then he lost quite a bit of classic over the board points. Standard rating, but uh, he's definitely an extremely strong player. This G5 plan is not something uh, seen that often, but it's good in quite a lot of these lines when they go H4, H5. I spent some time analyzing that. I'm not sure if it's good here, but uh, let him prove that it's not if it's not. Um, you want to go rook g8, bishop e7, and h5, and start like, attack stuff and leave the king here. Okay, he immediately tries to exploit everything. Now I can go king f7. I'm probably go king f7, why not? I can go knight h4, then I go either rook g8 or knight e7. Knight e7 is probably good, uh, no matter what. It's, uh, um... Should I go bishop e7 maybe? He wants knight c3 of course. Still has attacking potential. Okay, let's go here. I'm not sure if this is a place for a bishop or for a knight, but if I put the knight there, then I'm not sure where to go with the bishop. So let's bring the king to g7. Now I castled artificially. But without this bishop, it's a bit harder to attack always in the French structure. I quickly look at knight d5 and d6, but after bishop e8, I didn't see a continuation. I'm trying to play quickly this whole title Tuesday, as you have probably noticed. I should probably play g5 at some point with bishop e8 there. Might as well do it now. Because this bishop is still my worst piece, and um, if it gets there, it will be much stronger. Knight a4 I will always let go, we'll go queen d8 and probably I will take on c5 and go bishop g6. And that was my plan, uh, plan all the time. He will probably do it and take with the rook. I don't know what else to do. Um, okay, 
takes group takes um, now there are several interesting plans uh, after rook takes you can go knight d7 and bishop b5 bishop c4 to block the file you can also go bishop g6 bishop e4 doesn't look that bad either he takes with the pawn i did not expect it Okay, I don't believe that this has to be a bad move for many reasons. Uh, rooks, rook there, bishop goes here, the rooks go to f8, rook b1 is never possible. Yeah. If rook b1 was possible, then maybe, but rook b1 is not even possible. Maybe he forgot about that. And yeah, now there is no more attack. Oh, oh wait, now he can maybe go knight h2, knight g4. Or that might be a minor nuisance. Probably not not something to write home about. It's a minor nuisance. Now he's trying to reroute those rooks to hmm, very interesting. He's trying to reroute the rook to b2, but now what after bishop h5? How does he defend disastrous? on the diagonal let me see because i don't see it this i just take this is hanging on e2 d4 is also extremely weak what no one i just take no okay rook f3 it's probably not the best because of rook b7 but there should be so many good moves here. Not knight e7. Maybe queen c8, just defend stuff first and then go knight e7, knight f5, knight h4. Let's try that. Why can't I take with the rook? Show me why. Okay, so if I take here, bishop g5, rook f1, king g2, rook f2, rook g2. It's probably winning. Okay, right, let's let's see. As far as I've calculated, this should be winning. Okay, now it's definitely winning. Here it's checkmating too. That I saw, but uh, it was uh, it was more challenging to go to h2 and then rook g2. But I can take this and now it depends. Okay, finally nine out of eleven again with better play. Overall, I'm happy with the event. It could have gone better, of course. It could have gone worse, but uh, yeah. The g5 plan, I guess he was not that familiar with. And yeah, I have a good position. Here it's some question whether I'm supposed to go bishop b7 or not. Yeah, g5. Here, I mean, I don't understand bc. This, I mean, I think he has to take with the rook. This gives gives somewhat better for white. Yeah, I was considering knight e7 or bishop g6 because this plan might also be good with the idea of, for example, takes takes and bishop b5, b6, bishop c4, closing stuff. But yeah, bc, I think it gave me quite a lot, quite a good play. Because I, I, I mean, okay, knight h2, that I mentioned, but here I, I, I mentioned it also. I would have gone probably bishop f5. But yeah, maybe he didn't. Okay, bishop f, allowing bishop h5. Queen c8 was a mistake. Queen e7. I thought I need d7 square for the knight. That's interesting. Queen f1 draw? Really now? So I'm supposed to go rook somewhere else. I mean, rook e4 I also considered. Really now? How is this draw? Oh, 
Unbelievable. Wow. Okay, but in the time scramble he... The time scramble... Uh, he crumbled. Fortunately for me. Yeah, this was a decent game. And yeah. Overall, I'm happy with the event, surely. When you look at the results, of course, it started with a loss against the National Master. Who played perfectly. But then... Yeah, then three relatively okay wins. Even though if this player, Mistango, saw a three in that, that symmetrical structure, it would be a different event. And yeah. But against 3000 rated GMs, this was not a bad performance. I beat Chikalko, Shimano, but I lost this game to the Riga Lola. I mean, I deserve to lose it. They should have lost to Hakobian too, but I blocked him. So overall, overall, somewhere realistic, 9 out of 11, if I count the first game and all of this. Okay, it's a top 10 result. Finally, a decent performance on stream after four or five horrible ones. The increment, the increment and the emotes only chat uh, are doing their thing there. My rating even got up. And yeah. Yeah, thanks, Bruna. There were many things. There were many things in the, in the tournament. So yeah. I'm not sure what to say. I'll upload this. I'll upload this one to YouTube. Subscribe there if you... If you want to support and I will find in the meantime someone to raid you to do you have a suggestion for the raid GM Hikari actually uh, it's not even a question I didn't have Considering that he helped me with that huge raid some time ago, it's definitely reasonable that I raid him at least with my 20 viewers. Okay, so I guess I'll see you guys for the, for the late title Tuesday. In the meantime, I have some things to do, and I'm sure you guys also have. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around, and see you soon. Bye-bye.